the only fully scalable and programmable proof of work layer one not named Bitcoin. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, when you think about crypto, you have to think about the core primitives of the use cases. And with Quai, our goal is to create something that is fully scalable and programmable. So those two terms kind of on their own have to be defined, right? Because scalable can be a little ambiguous. So scalable to us means something that can achieve extremely high throughput anywhere north of 10,000 transactions per second, 50,000 transactions per second, and so on. So something that can compete with the likes of a Visa MasterCard or the credit networks or the banking infrastructure that we already use today. So scalable has to be defined in a way that actually means real tangible throughput, something that Quai can accomplish and something that other newer blockchains are beginning to accomplish as well. Second to that, when we say programmable, it has to have a nature of interacting with the blockchain or interacting with other parties in a decentralized way. So things like smart contracts, the EVM, or other forms of virtual machines that allow for trust minimized ways of facilitating interactions with third parties. So having that settle on a network doing sort of third party asset issuance or doing things like, uh, you know, settling trade or DeFi. So having that on Quai Network on a scalable network so we can keep fees consistently low. Got it. So you guys have created two coins, right? One of them mm -hmm. is a state egg to energy. The other one, I want to find out actually about both and how they work. Yeah, definitely. So I touched on those two kind of first points on scalability and programmability. And the way that Quai is unique that I actually didn't allude to yet is we're doing this on a proof of work network. And so a lot of people have different assumptions and beliefs about what proof of work means or does or what can accomplish. Bitcoin, as you mentioned earlier, is notoriously proof of work. And in many cases, we see the industry has really shied away from proof of work lately. And they've moved towards proof of stake. They've moved towards layer twos. And there's a lot of excitement around that, rightfully so. But for us, we see there has to be ways to innovate within proof of work. And so when we say we're the only scalable and programmable proof of work network, that is the case. A lot of proof of work networks do lack those features. In fact, all of them lack those two combined. But now when we say, well, what does it mean to have this new form of stablecoin alternative? And I'll use alternative specifically because it's not directly pegged. It's more of a manifestation or mechanistic design around the use of energy. And that's because we found a way to oracleize the properties of proof of work and use that for bringing that real expenditure, so that cost, that minor input cost that for many miners is denominated primarily in energy and manifesting that on chain. And so a two token design is utilized in which one of those tokens is like the store value or more of the sort of volatility coin. And the second one that we call Chi, almost like Tai Chi or the energy inside of you is supposed to be that decentralized energy dollar or dollar alternative, stablecoin alternative, given it's not directly pegged to a dollar, it's not one-to-one -one backed, it's emitted proportionally to hash rate is actually how we do that. So every time you give the network one hash, it will give you the same amount of chi. That, that differs from something like Bitcoin that sort of arbitrarily halves. Satoshi created this schedule and said, all right, every four years you get half the amount of Bitcoin. 